Solar Water by Thomas Hogeson and Alex Straub. Solar water is a type of technology for capturing the energy from the sun and using it to directly heat tap water or power boilers. How it works. The energy capture for solar water heaters occurs in a solar collector that is specifically designed to capture and retain heat as efficiently as possible with a series of layers such as the glazing on top of the collector and the inner layers of insulation. Within the collector, a series of pipes containing antifreeze is heated. This antifreeze is then pumped to a tank where its heat energy is transferred to, a to tap water or a boiler, which can be used for power generation and central heating. More primitive designs of solar water heaters are available and are more popular for off-grid small-scale applications. As seen, direct designs have tap water flowing directly through the solar collector rather than using antifreeze, which would then go to a tank and heat the tap water. Passive designs simplify the design even more by using a gravity-fed circulation system in place of a pump. These designs are only applicable at a small scale and present a number of problems, such as freezing over during winter in the case of the direct design, and thus we won't be focusing on them for the rest of the presentation. How does it reduce our impact? Energy use in buildings represents a significant portion of our carbon emissions, and within that portion, the majority of usage is due to the heating of both air and water. Targeting this source of greenhouse gas emissions has a large potential for reducing overall emissions, whether that be by just reducing our energy consumption by using solar water heaters or by taking full advantage of them and using them in conjunction with clean energy such as solar and wind to power the pump. If solar water heating grows from 5.5% to 25% usage globally, we could reduce carbon dioxide emissions by 6.1 gigatons by 2050 and save households $774 billion in energy costs. So what are some of the benefits of solar water? Even when powered by coal, solar water heaters present significant improvements in overall global warming, eutrophication, ozone depletion, photochemical oxidant creation, and human toxicity potential. In overall global warming, solar water offers between 8.5 and 27 times lower global warming potential depending on region. It also offers between 2.7 and four times lower eutrophication potential, between three and eight times lower photochemical oxidant creation, and 73 times lower ozone depletion. In addition, water heating bills are lower with solar water, combined with lower maintenance costs and frequency means solar water heaters are homeowner friendly. So what's re required to accomplish a solar water heating system? Solar water heaters need sufficient roof space for installation and corresponding indoor space for tank and pump. There have already been many implementations of solar water, so it's a mature technology since it has been used widely since the early 1920s and 30s. Commercial integrations of solar water need more planning due to the much higher demand of hot water in larger buildings. Converting a building with traditional water heating to solar can be tricky due to its complexity. Fail safes, such as traditional gas water heaters, are also needed when using solar water because they, they are highly dependent on weather. Solar water heaters typically cost between eight and $10,000 for residential applications before government rebates and incentives. So what are some of the issues with solar water heaters? Solar water heaters are expensive and have a very complex installation compared to gas and electric boilers. This is due to the fact that there are a lot more components and pipes runs that need to be installed for solar water compared to traditional boilers. However, this is only a one-time installation and government incentives can make them as surprisingly affordable. The main environmental issue is seen in its acidification potential when they are powered with unfiltered, unregulated coal. This is not an issue in the US and most developed countries, but seeing as the accessibility of solar water technology, 
this could be an issue if it became popular around the world. But this is not an issue when solar water heater pumps are powered by clean energy, which more of the world is moving towards. Solar water is also highly dependent on the climate it was installed in. On cloudy, rainy, or foggy days, the system hardly functions because systems require direct sunlight. This is especially an issue in regions with a lot of rain and cloud cover, such as England. On the other hand, solar water heaters in this region still reduce the impact of impact and need or reduce the need for traditional boilers.